All right, so let's take a look at Module 9 and the overview for this uh, particular week. So let me get back into Blackboard, and uh, let's take a look at 9. So all this, uh, this week in this module is all about tables. That's really all we cover uh, is what a purpose of the table and how we use it uh, in our pages and how we create it, what elements are needed uh, for this to happen. We had three assignments. We have a lab, a quiz, ooh, and update number one, right? I think we're on our fifth milestone of the project. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, the objectives really, as I indicated, it's all about tables, right? Uh, what the purpose of the table is and how we develop that table using uh, our elements as well as how we style that table. So we both create it and style it. It is chapter number nine. Of course, the key concepts are there. I don't know if there's any updates for chapter nine so please use the companion website to check um, the tutorials of course are there I believe they're broken up into two HTML ones and then the CSS ones that refer to the chapter uh, the lab software of course is the same I believe until the authoring tools module which I think is in a, a couple of uh, weeks and then our first lab or our first assignment really is the lab and we're still working with our case study and I believe one of the only things we do here is simply take the content we currently have and make it a table right so I believe uh, we have a couple pages one with a, a DL list a definition list uh, I think another one with uh, h3s and paragraphs you take one of those two pages and then you take the content that's in there and just convert it into a table All right that's basically what you're doing Maybe a few little other little things, but outside of that, it's basically taking content, using the or taking the elements that were there and replacing them with table elements. But the content is still the same, I believe. Okay, it might be the DL list then, possibly. So. All right, next module, nine lab. Any questions? All right, that's it. But I think a pretty straightforward uh, chapter and and module for the most part. All right, you do have a quiz, right? Uh, it's your uh, 10 questions, 10 minutes quiz. Looks like for the most part, most people are doing fairly well with these. And then your third assignment is the update number one. So this is currently where we are, milestone number five. And this is the actual assignment itself, right? So what we're looking for here are two completed pages and their titles. So the first thing you need to provide me is the URL to the completed page. And then, of course, include the title of each of those two pages. And the definition of completed is what I want. Right? So if you have to look that up, what complete means, uh, well, then that was exactly what I'm looking for for those pages. Done. Ready to go. Ready to uh, give it to your client and ready for the world to see. Okay. Uh, and then provide me, of course, uh, a description of your pages that will utilize a table. So essentially, I'd like to know how you're going to be incorporating a table in this project because it's a requirement. Okay. You can have one, minimum is one table. If you want to use more, hey, go right ahead. Right. But we have to use them uh, appropriately. So what I'm looking for is your thoughts on how you'll be utilizing that table. You do not have to provide me with a page that includes a table. All I want you to do is think about how you might use a table. If you want, but you don't have to incorporate the table, right? All I want you to do is kind of think about it. But if you already know and you'd like to include it as one of your two, a page that includes a table, you're welcome to do so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, of course, if your site map and wireframe has changed, which some of you it probably has only because of my feedback, right? Perhaps maybe your site map had uh, uh, 13 pages on it, and my feedback was, well, wait a minute, you can only have 7 to 10. Right, so you're going to have to make some changes to that. Well, then I would expect to see an updated sitemap, right? Or if your wireframe, right, had some issues with it. Maybe your mobile version had two columns, right? And I made a comment about that. Perhaps you're probably going to provide me with a right link to a new version of that. So, so if your sitemap and wireframe has changed, of course, based on my feedback or on your own, right, that you decided, yeah, well, you know, I'm going to make a few changes here please include that because what I do is I at the end right and I look at your project I then review all of the milestones and I say okay well, we're on task all right did you do what you said you were going to do 
And so if uh, I go to your sitemap and wireframe and it's different than your uh, project, well then, you know, that's a, that's a problem. So, uh, and that's it really. They, of course, need to be valid and you'll submit them in the same way you submit your labs. All right, you provide me with the URLs. You will not attach anything. Any questions? You're welcome to create the pages in any tool you'd like. I don't really care. Uh, you've had a chance to at least play with two of them. Uh, one is your basic text editor. I hope you've graduated from that. And you move to a code editor, whether it's Notepad++ or whatever else you might be using, Atom or right, Text Wrangler or whatever, any other one. I gave you a list of them, I think, back in Module 4, I believe, um, that you could you know, choose and kind of investigate. All right, so that's the project. Any questions? Yeah, Michael. Uh, no, actually, you can pick any two pages you'd like. So it doesn't have to be the index page that you provide me as being complete. So if it's one of your interior pages, that's fine too. You decide which two you want to provide me. But they just simply need to be complete, right? Yeah, ready to go. Right, it's really up to you. So if you want to do the index in some other one, it's fine. If you want to do two other ones and not the index at this time, you're welcome to do so. Okay. Yeah. A uh, page that has a table in it, yeah. Yeah, because I'd like to know how you think you're using it, right? And this way it would help me understand how you're using it in this page. Absolutely, absolutely. I think it would be appropriate or put it in comments, right? So you don't necessarily have to have it on the actual page, but maybe as a, uh, if you're providing that, like, hey, this is not mine, it's somebody else's, right? Then you could put that as a comment into the HTML if you'd like. Yeah, so you don't necessarily have to indicate that at the bottom, saying, hey, all graphics are taken from this. Or If you want to, you're welcome to put it in a footer. But in the comments, you're more than, you're more than welcome to do that as well. all depends on whether you want to display that on your page. So I think probably the requirement is, not the requirement, but you might simply need to acknowledge it, right? How you acknowledge it, whether it's a comment not seen by everybody or right, seen by everybody is up to you. Any other questions? Great question. So. Fantastic. All right. And uh, I believe that's pretty much it. That's module number nine. The table chapter itself is fairly short. There's not a lot of stuff in this chapter. Uh, and that's good. And I planned it that way. So this way you can spend your time on your project. Right? That's really want you to spend your time. So the chapter is fairly short. You should be able to get through that pretty quick uh, and then work on your project if necessary. So, great. Okay. Any other questions about mod 9?